Hello guys, this is CS2 Magus. Uh, last time we actually were talking about training and we learned how to fly. So the next one we're going to be doing is going through all of the routes. But first off, we need to change our settings, of course, and finally play the game. Now, we have three levels. We have level one, level two, and level three. Level three is the hardest. Level two is medium, which is normal. And we have level one, which is the easy route. So I'm going to start with level one first. And we always have to save clone area, which is our first thing. So, General Pepper talks about, oh, Team Star Vlogs, you're our last resort. We are counting on you. We must find a way to counterattack. Good luck. Okay, well, thank you, General. All right, so basically, this route, I'm going to be doing through all of these, actually, correctly. All of the routes, I will be doing Twin Blaster only. There will not be any retros used in this route. Let's play run. Retros, I will talk a little bit about that later. Um, first off, we're going to start out in Corneria. I will put a link, or not a link, a list of items on the side of the video. So that way that you guys can understand of how many items that are in this game. For each level, I am really bad at shooting apparently, and we will talk about all of that later. So now we're just flying around. All, all, see, all that training paid off. See, we needed the payoff with all this. Now this item here are called Twin Blasters, and these are the blaster weapons I will be using throughout the run. I will not be using the next upgradable. That Apparently, they are called Type B Blasters. This is Type A. I will do my very best to actually get 100% in all of them. It is not a guarantee that it will happen. Sorry, Peppy. So... I'm going to be talking about a little bit of how items work and every destination will be a little different. Um, bombs basically sh hit almost everybody that is in contact that are in the area of the whole entire routes of where you are flying. The bomb of what they are called, they are called smart bombs, and this is what they are called right here, and how they look like. And you know what? I will demonstrate one right now. So basically, the way that worked is that I just took care of all of the enemies that were on that part of the screen. And there you go, there's a silver ring. And these are basically falling poles, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, plus, I forgot to also mention, I will not be using checkpoints. I forgot to mention that next little finicky thing. Those things right there are called checkpoints. And these are nice gold rings. They don't give you much. I just wanted the bonk in you, Slippy. <laughs> Alright, now we have the boss. So, the boss in each area is completely different than the very first or anything else. Um, what else? Um, they will try to attack your ship with different projectiles and even enemy ships. 
I am very sorry for the terrible slowdown of this game. I think it's just my ROM. Oh my god, I am so bad! I believe this one is called the Attack Carrier. I am so bad at this game. Alright, we've taken care of the first boss. Now we get to move on to the second level. Yay, stage one is cleared. Um, stage two is a little different. Um, hey, look, we got a hundred percent in our score. Oh yeah, and you also get bonus credits. Uh, it's, let's see, every hundred points is one credit, and then 300 is another, and then 500 is another. So let's go ahead and move on to level two. Or stage two of whatever they like to call it. The asteroid belt. Um, there is a secret area you can go to in this level. Um, I don't remember exactly how to make it work. Um, I will have to test that um, with uh, retros. And I will do that as a bonus video when I get the chance. And that view was a cockpit view. Uh, you can change modes by hitting your select button if you are comfortable with in different modes, if you wanted to be in the cockpit mode or if you wanted to be in uh, up close mode. Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't understand most of the points and stuff and I never got a hundred percent in all of them. I was a kid. I didn't know. Ah, oh, Peppy. I'm coming to get you. All right. Uh, asteroids, I guess those orange ones are considered points as well. There's a flying space monkey. Every level that you play will have basically twins which is twin type B or type A of an upgrade. There are, I'm gonna say in every level, except for I think one that doesn't have it. Uh, the asteroid belt, um, this one will take you to the black hole and again, I don't exactly know how to do that. And if you pass through these, you'll get a you'll get a twin blaster upgrade. And I'm actually just letting my teammates take care of all that, actually. All of the other enemies that are just down the screen. Uh, right here. This is how you do it. But I don't think I'm going to be able to demonstrate it. Because I am not 100% good at it so <laughs> good luck of actually seeing me try to get it correctly you actually have to hit the middle asteroid as close as you can in order to get it there'll be a little silver face of an asteroid on the very far far left before the checkpoint and when you get that, you'll be able to shoot at it as much as you can. And you'll be able to get transported into the black hole. Now, some enemies are here that are actually a little hidden. And I didn't know that. And there was one right there. I accidentally shot it. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> um... Yes, I will not be using retros, which are basically type B. Die, 
Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. And these are, um, I guess, space birds, I guess? They are healing birds? Um, I think it's... I don't remember, but I think if you get, like, a high enough score... I don't remember how much it is. If you get a big score, you'll get a healing space bird. And I think it only gives you three or four gold rings. I can't remember. Ah, here's the second boss. They are called Rock Crushers. And here's the easiest way to bleed them. Blow them up with a smart bomb. Yes. And look, it has lost its part. We have beaten it. Yes! The asteroid belt, I could never get 100% on this because there were so many stuff on screen and it was hard. I couldn't be able to get 100% on Corneria. And that was... That's just sad. <laughs> um, I love the ending right here. You guys are about to see it in a moment. Hey, I got 100% on that one. Awesome. We're going into warp speed. Full speed ahead. I love that. That is amazing. Space Armada is our third level. One of my favorite levels in this route. I love it. This is one of my favorites. There's a few things I will demonstrate in this one. This is the cockpit view. But I am, I'm not a big fan of the cockpit view, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said cockpit. <laughs> I'm so bad. Now, in some levels, your friends will come and help you. And these rings are extra lives. As you can see that, you can get an extra life. Make sure you hit all three, and you'll be good. Here's a space arm out of ship, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it, because I'm bad. Now, if I remember correctly, I think these are one of them, and I think I accidentally shot one of them, which, I, which is so bad. Yep. Yes, um, um, your friends will come and help you if you don't attack certain enemies. And that is something else I will be showing off. And these, I think, are space pods. We must try to do our best to actually take care of all of them. Wow, the ROM is so bad. I'm so sorry, guys. I really hope this do you don't have to deal with this in your ears. And that item I just picked up is a shield. In uh, the training mode, I believe, you actually got to see this when you actually had to follow through with your friends. There's a little bit of a glitch here that you could actually get your shield crushed a little bit. And I don't know how frankly it happens. I think if you're in a different position or in a different spot, sometimes that you will actually feel like that you got hit, but there was no enemies nearby. The And this one, uh, I accidentally hit that checkpoint. I'm so bad. I said that I wasn't going to do it. Well, if I actually can beat this, then it won't matter. So, in this level, there are two checkpoints. And this one actually has two space pods. Which is very rare, because 
And most areas and most levels, you actually don't deal with that. And as Peppy tells you about retros. Retros are type B, which I will not be using. I cannot believe I accidentally hit that checkpoint. I am so bad at this game. Oh yeah, and as many times as you want, you can actually hurt yourself with these wings. Oh man, it's actually real fun. And basically, that is the master core, if you hit it correctly. I really do hope I don't get hit here. Alright, that's two space pods down. Um, fun fact, if you actually pass them, you will go back in a loop. And you won't get past this unless if you've actually beaten that space pod that has a core inside. If you go far enough to the left or far enough to the right, you will pass it, and you'll go into an infinite loop, basically. There are some levels, I believe, that do that. I don't remember which ones on the top of my head. I'm so sorry, guys. Now, you guys saw a little big bag mothership down below. We're about to go in it. And as this lovely mothership has terrible aim, and sometimes you may actually get hit by it, but I don't know why, but this mothership has terrible aim. Oh yeah, another thing about the boss in this level, I will demonstrate in a moment, but I don't have enough bombs. I really hope this does not hurt the ears for the viewers. Because if it does, I might have to re-record this. And I really don't want to. <laughs> These little up and down things are like little uh, shoot 'em up things. And if I shoot one, it will go up or down depending on where you shoot. Or depending on what the position is of the arrows. Kind of like these little guys right here. These guys are like little hatchets that you just swing and shoot them and there you go. Just make your way of your path. This is another cool thing that I love. The transition of going into this whole entire section. Oh my god, as a kid I loved this. This boss is kind of a little tricky. You have to shoot these three things that are on the wall, if I can actually aim, because I'm so bad at this game. Admire my terrible flying, guys. I'm very sorry. I am trying to actually shoot these guys. I'm so bad. All right, we got one. How did I miss that? All right, I got two. Oh god, there's an alien ship. It's trying to go after me. Oh no, it shot me. Oh no, it ran into me. <laughs> um, your shield, if you take three hits of damage on it, then you'll lose your shield. Alright, we've actually taken care of all three. Now we gotta attack the core on this. Oh shoot, I never actually demonstrated the actual thing for this. Um, if you actually have enough bombs... You could actually kill this whole entire thing without actually hitting the three actual parts. It will take damage, even if the core is inside the barrier. I didn't know about that when I was a kid. Now, if you actually keep your shield and pass through this whole entire level... It will carry over, and you will actually still have three hits still on your shield. And we got 100%. Awesome. So now we got a second credit, so if you get up to that much, you get a second credit. Stage 4, Meteor. 
Halfway there, guys. We're almost done. The Battle Base Meteor. I wonder what that reference is off to. Be sure to use a lot of your retros. And this is one of the areas that actually goes fast. And apparently this game goes by 30 frames per second. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Stage 4. This one goes pretty fast, so you gotta be very careful. Oh yeah, and some late and some stages will actually change your uh, your position of your R wing. And I'm gonna go back to that view. I'm gonna do my very best to actually keep my shield throughout this whole entire run. I didn't even know about this. Oh my god, I didn't know that was there! Ah, I'm so bad. Wait, what? Wait, what just happened? <laughs> Apparently that lovely two-legged battles whatever mechanic kind of just like must have ran into something. All right. Learning new things wild on this lovely run. And we have helicopters shoot, trying to shoot at us. Fantastic. You don't belong in this area. I am bad at shooting. And apparently I passed a, another life uh, ring circle. Where the heck did that come from? Oh man, they're trying to go after me. Ah, oh, there's so many of them. Oh yeah, and if you have your shield, there's no point for you to barrel roll. Because the shield will just take the hit for you anyway. Shield basically takes half of the damage. You have basically a 50% resistance of armor, basically. And different routes, they give you a lot of sh shields, depending on which one you go through. Uh, this route only gives you one shield. And again, I will be putting all of the items in the in the video of telling you how many items are actually in each level. Oh man, we have these! Oh, I'm bad at this game! <laughs> so bad! I shot too early. I got scared. Oh man. Ah oh, man. Ah, oh, that sucks. I was hoping to actually go through this whole entire run without getting hit. Where did the heck did that come from? Apparently I'm not good at noticing things. I should actually be aware of my surroundings a little bit better. <laughs> Uh, basically, this is a spider guy. Uh, where are you going? You're going up? Alright. This boss acts a little different. I do not know how to barrel roll, apparently. So basically, we're trying to shoot these legs. So that way, we can actually get rid of it all. Forgive me for bad ROMs, because apparently... This game will actually have a little bit of a frame rate that will actually take down sometimes. Oh man, it's got a volcanic. It's shooting out lovely fireballs from top to bottom. Apparently when I first played this, I didn't know what to think of this enemy of a boss. It's trying to shoot out flames from its core. Oh my god, how many times do I have to shoot this thing? <laughs> Alright. We're almost done. Really? 
Oh my god, I can't believe I had to actually use a bomb for that. I never use bombs for most bosses. Except for a couple. Or a few. Whee! I feel as if everybody is trying to say something. If anybody knows what they're saying, please comment. I have no idea. Yeah, we got another 100%. Maybe this won't be so bad after all. We have made it to Venom. This is stage five. Now, Venom has two areas. One that's actually in the sky of Venom, and then they have Venom Depths. Venom Depths, I believe, is the sixth stage for few. We have made it to Venom. We must do our best to take care of this wretched area. I am in cockpit view. That is okay. Oh man, Falco. I, where did you learn how to fly? I thought you were the best pilot. 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 Pilot around. What happened? You're my favorite character. Venom. Um, is a little difficult. Um, not much to describe about this area. Um, but a lot of enemies here are very vicious sometimes. If I actually learn how to actually aim my shots correctly. Those enemies are shield enemies. Some Whatever look like they're called, I don't know. I believe that there is a list on game facts or something that tells you. Um, Venom is a little interesting. Oh, well, thank. Ow! I think I just got shot by my own ally. Falco, learn how to aim. I can't believe you just shot me. I thought we were friends. Apparently my allies just don't like me. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh yeah, these enemies. I forgot to mention. Uh, if you actually shoot these guys, they will give you twin blasters. You'll see a lot of those enemies in most of the levels. But some of them, you actually have to go through a certain thing. Like a tunnel or a... Or a space ring or whatever, you name it. And sometimes you'll actually get rewarded for some items. Kind of like how I did that in the first game. And the, you know, not the first. <laughs> the first level. Enjoy my bad commenting, guys. I am not really great at this. My English is bad. A lot of enemies will actually come from the bottom. Hey, our space bird has arrived. You'll only meet these space birds in certain levels. I think that was four. Oh man, space monkeys! Space monkeys! Hey, look, I'm actually doing a little bit better. All right. Um, some enemies only drop certain items, which are basically could be healing, could be bombs, could be weapons, you, you name it. This boss is a little finicky because it will move around. I think every time you shoot it, and it makes clones, and you actually have to find the right one, and sometimes it's not always the right one. And if you shoot the right one, you'll win. 
All right. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. We need to actually come play. Every ally will say something different if their gauge bar is um, full or one-third or half or one-fourth of it. Hey, we got another 100%. We got one more bonus credit for it, too. That's the, that's the maximum credits that you can get, actually. Three is the maximum. This is Venom Depths, stage six. One of the hardest levels that I actually had to experience when I was a kid because I had problems and trouble. This level can be a little finicky and a little tricky if you are not careful. And I believe your allies get chased more often the harder that the level goes on. And you see a lot of these guys. Oh boy. These things are moving walls and depending on which way they go, we'll do a big slam to your ship and Believe me or not, it hurts. So don't do that. They're dangerous. Be cautious about it. Um, what else is there to describe about this level? Um, it's not really much to actually describe about it. Um, sometimes when you hit an enemy and they turn into like a different color every time you shoot someone, they will either drop a healing item or they just will be shot as a regular color. Usually when most enemies get hit by something, they'll either get turned yellow or they'll turn white, kind of like this kind of color that I'm shooting. If you had retros, you'd be able to destroy and dominate everything. And they give you a lot of different rings right here, too. So if you actually wanted to go for those, you can. Time to hit my brakes. Aw, oh, man. There's a lot of things that are trying to hit me. Hey, look. Type B blasters. I don't want them. These things are menaces. Oh, God. I better not lose my wings or else I am going to have to re-record this. Hey, there you are. Man, you got away fast. How'd you do that? Wow, that's in the, actually in the first one. I got lucky with that. Ah, oh, buddy, you don't look happy. Why did you just spin around like a little loop? Oh, boy, you look fun. This enemy gave me nightmares as a kid. And sometimes when you actually hit an enemy, you'll actually get healing items for him. But I will not be considering these items of getting in boss fights because they are RNG, and if anybody doesn't know what that means, it is random number generated. That is what RNG stands for. I will only be showing off what items come into what, or at least from different enemies. Apparently I was not smart and didn't hit the bomb the right way in the correct timing. And if you use bombs, they actually do a lot more damage. Uh, I believe if you had retros, they actually do a lot more damage. No, come back! I need one more hit on you! There we go. Oh wait, we should actually watch and see how he dies. 
He lost his legs. He has no longer... Whatever they call him. I don't even remember what I called him when I was a kid. It was a long time ago. <laughs> and look, we've made it to Andross's base! Hooray! And basically, this whole entire section... I bet you guys remember how it looked. Uh, we passed through this uh, not too long ago in Stage 3. Every section is a little different. And as you go through a different route, it gets harder. Uh, how am I going to pass this one? Up above. Oh, I cannot believe I did that. That was amazing. Your oar wings have no chance against me. Feel my wrath, Star Fox. As Andros says. Oh man, it's Metal Face Andros. Hey, look, he's an assist trophy in Smash, in Smash Brothers. We must attack his eyes. That is the only way we have to win for victory. Oh man, he's trying to eat us. No! Just kidding. Yeah, no matter how far or even how close you try to get it, Andros will not eat you. Ever. And to be honest, I tried to test that when I was a kid. Ah! It never worked. Oh man, we blew up his mask. What's inside? A box. Let's blow him up with a bomb. Yeah! Oh man, the cube exploded into pieces. There must have been a bomb inside. You know what? Sometimes I feel a little bad about that. And that's it! We just, just, we just defeated the first level of the route. That is the first route of Star Fox. We did it! Um, some points of this, um, ending. Um, if you actually let your, uh, allies die, some of them won't make it. And they just die instantly and explode in a crash. I actually love the ending. It's amazing. And that's the first level of the route. Um, this run didn't go as bad as I thought it was going to go. It actually ended up to actually be really good. Um, well, we're about to find out if I actually got 600 points. And in the ending, it will actually show you how many stages that you've passed through and they will grade you of your work apparently when they actually were thinking in Super Nintendo they didn't think about actually saving and actually trying to exit out of the ending curse you Nintendo apparently when they actually didn't realize it they should have actually did it but that was back in the day, so they, we didn't have much to deal with. Um, what else can I actually explain? Uh, pretty soon they're actually going to show you through every boss that you've bought or fought. I can't believe I said bought. Um... Every boss has a weakness if you know how to do it correctly. I believe I demonstrated all of the bosses' attacks and how they actually did everything in their mechanics. If there was some fights that I went past and flew flew through them like extremely fast I apologize so yeah um 
throughout every root of the level that you've went, th went through, excuse me, they actually have their names and what they used as they are their attacks. Um, what was this one called? This was called what? Atomic Base. Oh, okay, that's what it was called. I don't remember most of the bosses' names. I'm sorry. I am very sorry for the very slowdown of this lagging emulator. Um, if there is, like, something that I could do to fix this, if you guys have any ideas or any objections about this, let me know, and I'll do my very darn best to see if I can fix it. What were these guys called? Fantron. I totally forgot what the last one was. I wasn't paying attention. Oops. Oh yeah, this boss. This boss gave me nightmares as a kid. And it's called the same thing, even though it's transformed. Transformers, everyone. Uh, what else can I explain? Well... The other thing that I didn't really ask is, how's everyone's day doing? My day's been pretty good. This is my last day of my vacation of my work, so I have to go back to work tomorrow. I'm sad. And look, the credits! Now, I probably won't be showing the credits again when I do the next route, because it's basically the same thing. Um, I will show off a little bit of an Easter egg. I don't know if it happens if you get 100% in each level. But there is a little bit of an Easter egg at the end. Um, if it takes too long, I will um, edit it out and skip right to the part to it. I had a really fun time doing this route. That was fun. Again, if there's anything else that I could do to change something like this, please do let me know. I will take any advice from anyone if there's like something I can do to fix this. I know this game goes by 30 frames per second. I know that there is one of these games of this version that can go by 60 frames per second. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it was... I don't remember if it was in Japanese or if there was an actual other version to this that could go by 60 frames per second. If it was 60 frames per second, it would actually fly by this game a lot faster. I remember seeing a manual for one of these levels that it took only a 2 minutes and 30 seconds throughout one of the routes and it probably saves so much time. So each level I will be putting a list of items of each of them in the very beginning before we start. So, that way you guys will know how many items there are. I will be showing off where every single item in this game will be. And since I just got 100% in this first in first route, I guess I might as well just do a, for a second route 100%. Um, I'm just Hey look, the music is already over. And we're still in the credits. <laughs> what is this? Oh no, the H is coming at us. Oh man, this was fun. 
Can't wait to start Route 2. That's going to be fun. Route 2 is uh, one of my other favorites. I cannot wait to start that. I'm not sure when I will be making this the next one. Um, depending on how my day goes tomorrow. And there we go. That's the end. We did it. And our total score, 600,000. Or 60,000. Wow, I'm not great at words. Wow, that, that would need an ex add an extra zero. Your average score, 100%. That's awesome. Now, a little bit of an Easter egg. Now, I don't know if this actually works in each of the routes. I could be wrong. But if there is, and it works in each route, do let me know because I am very bad if it doesn't work. Don't criticize me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Um, well, let's see if it actually does work and it does go through. We'll, we'll see what happens. Again, I will be editing this, editing it, it out if it takes a little while. Um, what else? I can't really think of anything else. The, the end logo. Um, this area looks sort of familiar. Um, we'll be seeing that pretty soon. Maybe in the next video. Anyway, if anybody has any questions or, um, and is curious about how I'm doing this, um, please leave your questions in the comments below. I will do my very best to answer each comment that are in the description in the bottom of the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. I would very much appreciate every support that you guys give me. All right, guys. Well, um, this has uh, been a fun route. I will catch you guys next time, and we will be tackling Route 2 of Levels. Of Level 2, I guess. I guess that's what it's called. This is CS2 Mega signing out. Again, I've had so much fun. I hope you guys have a fun time just watching me screw up and fly around. See, all that training paid off. If we actually didn't have, if we didn't have flying skills, we wouldn't have actually been able to passed through this whole entire this game if we didn't know how to fly we've actually died i'm surprised i didn't actually die in one of the actual levels <laughs> that would have been bad <laughs> anyway i will catch you guys later peace out guys see you later it up or something you'll still get it but you still just have to make sure you go through the right area oh man what kind of boss is this it's got a face and every time you shoot this boss it will move man i really hope i keep my shield here ah that stinks I didn't do a good job, apparently, of keeping my shield. Well, that's the end of my invisible see-through shield. Oh, man. He made clones. He knows how to make clones. He brought his friends. Oh, God. Um, what are you doing? Uh, what is that? Wait, what? that before all right um learning new things live i did not know that was a thing okay um i guess i'll just edit out and i'll see you guys right back at the boss God, I can't.
cannot believe that. I've never seen that before. All right, and we're back. Oh my God, I cannot believe that just happened. Take two. All right, you. You just showed off something to the viewers that even I was not expecting. Stand still. All right. Oh man, what is he doing? Oh man, he's trying to make clones again. Where are you going? Nope, you're not the right one. There you are. Yes! Wait, what? Wait, what? 